Welcome to my channel. Today we'll be making some chips masala and I'll be showing you exactly how I make mine. If you want to see how I got to this then keep watching. First cut your potato fries and deep fry them in oil. In my case I like to bake mine by just brushing a little bit of oil and putting them in the oven. Here are my fries, garlic and ginger, onions, tomato paste and ketchup, paprika, cumin, curry powder and black pepper. I'll also list the ingredients and the exact measurements on the description box below. Now into your pan or sufuria of oil add in your onions. I would also like to state that please do not feel limited with the spices. If you like chili you can go ahead and make it part of your spices. If you like beef cubes or garam masala please go ahead and feel free to use the spices that you would like to incorporate in your chips masala. Now that your onions are brown and translucent, go ahead and add in your garlic and ginger and stir them all together. Next add in your spices and allow them to cook and release their flavors for around a minute or two. Next go ahead to add in your tomato paste and ketchup. I proceeded to add just a little bit of water and stirring it. Now let the sauce simmer for around a minute or two. Also add a little bit of salt to taste. Now this is the point where we add in our fries. I would also like to state that the sauce or paste is not dried up. It is enough to ensure that all the fries are evenly coated and just go ahead and gently mix it all up or coat the fries so that they don't break up or end up mashed. And now that the fries are evenly coated with the sauce, I'll go ahead to add in my fresh coriander and proceed to gently mix them up as well, just as we did previously. and ensure that the coriander is evenly distributed in there. And there we have it, our chips masala is ready to serve. There you have our chips masala, you can see how evenly coated they are. I went ahead to add a little bit of coriander on top. If you'd like to, you can squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on top. It helps release those flavors even more. And I'll go ahead and serve mine with some baked chicken breast. Hope you enjoyed watching how I make my chips masala. I look forward to your feedback on how yours turned out. If you like this video, please leave a comment, give a thumbs up and share. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any new uploads.